Hello and welcome to your October 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, please remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. You take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Now, if you want um, a personal reading, either via WhatsApp a video call or via Messenger video call or via old-fashioned Skype, <laughs> the information uh, how we can get this done is in the description box below. Now, there's a lot of other information I want to just uh, give you uh, in October before we then get into your reading, as it were. So one thing is, I am currently um, really trying to be a bit more uh, present um, when it comes to social media and online. So you have noticed that I have recorded or, or started recording, started recording um, more videos, you know, um, you know, about the retrogrades um, and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, you have the full moon and new moon readings. Um, sometimes you, there are love life, <coughs> excuse me, love life readings, all that kind of stuff. But I'm also now a an executive contributor for the Brains magazine. They handpick people for their knowledge, and so I'm really honored that they um, contacted me. And um, so I have agreed to uh, exclusively, so to speak, um, write for the Brains magazine. You can find the link to my articles and to all the other articles that are there um, in the description box below. Lastly, we have a really, really great special offer just for my viewers this month. So if you want to back yourself 10% um, off for a photo shoot, um, if you are into um, maybe wanting uh, new pictures, you also find the 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 um, information for this in the description box below. But at the end of this video, sort of to speak, after you are reading, as it were, um, there is a little ninety second segment, ninety second segment. Is that how you pronounce it? Ninety second segment <laughs> about um, photography by Kate and how you can back yourself 10% off, provided you book in November. In any case, um, please like, subscribe and share. Use all the um, <coughs> amazing things that I just mentioned. You know, um, especially I want you to look at the, the Brain magazine that I now write for. Um, it's always very interesting. It's oftentimes uh, also related to, obviously, uh, what I do, so it's about healing and it also is about astrology, all that kind of stuff. So, um, wouldn't necessarily call it same old, same old, but it builds on what I already do for a living. And since you have found that channel, you may find all this quite interesting. Without further ado, let's go into your reading for the month of October 2023. You are watching Thomas Star Readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And here is your reading. Gemini, hello. Let's look at your October 2023 general reading. Um, we will um, divide it slightly or loosely into three sections because that makes it easier to convey what the guides are saying and for you to understand. But understand, please, that you're not like this. You know, things flow into one another. Uh, let's have a look what we got. So, right. So the guides have quite a lot to say to you. <laughs> because normally I ask them to give me sort of, you know, one message and here you have more than, than one. So let me just put that down and then I'm going to show this to you. Because when it comes to the overall energy for the sign of Gemini, for the month of October 2023, you have two um, energies here. You have partnership and sustainability, right? So... You have partnership. Now, this is not the, the part of the reading where we look at your relationships. This is about, um, it, it is partly about who you're close to, if that makes sense. 
But what the guides are asking you, your overall energy is to reflect if your partnerships, not just the intimate ones, are actually working and if the energy that you create together really sustain you. Now, conversely, if you are a person that says, like, I haven't got a notion what the heck you're talking about, I don't work at the moment and I haven't got a partner, then you still have to look into who influences you, who talks to you, who are the people that have some sort of an effect on your life and, and understand if that energy really works for you. Conversely, if you are a person that sort of struggles with being uh, alone and kind of stuff, what the guides are saying all the time, you know, Gemini is the sign of the twin. By default, you can struggle when there is no one else there that gives you a bit of a pep talk when needed. Right? It is just in your nature. You know, you're missing the twin, if that makes sense. The point the guides are making is, you know, all you need to do this month or, the, or the, the, the main thing for you to do this month is reflecting, you know, how well are my partnerships working and can they sustain me as a person? So this is not necessarily only meant um, financially, right? Is that an energy I want to be in? Can that energy sustain my drive, my, my passion, you know, my well-being, all these kind of things? Um, so it's a bit of a deeper month for Gemini because you're really asked to dive deep into this. Okay, here we go. And then when it comes to your emotional core, um, which is a, a good thing in a way, because there's nothing you need to do with regards to healing. What the guides are saying is, and this is important for your emotional core, so whether or not this is about relationships you're in, at this point in time I can't really say because normally the guides are quite forthcoming in your case i don't necessarily feel that this is just about or just for those that are in relationships what the guides are saying is focus on where you are in life before you reflect on where you are in the scheme of things with regards to intimate relationships okay because the the terminology that you have is home Right? And what that means is that, that you have to focus on your own core, right? Am I happy inside myself? Am I happy within me, right? How am I faring in all things? And then you should look at, at okay, what needs to change here? How can we do this? But sometimes what I'm getting for you here, Gemini, is that once you start giving, you hardly ever stop and therefore you may fail to see when you're burning out. You also may fail to see when there is not no real balance in your relationships. And all the guides are saying it's time to come home, time to go into your center and focus on where are you in the scheme of things. Okay, so now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of October. Now, Gemini, while they're not super numerous, if that makes sense, you have the energies of Saturn and Capricorn. Now, Saturn is the planet that teaches through restrictions, right? So doing less. So the point is don't chase anything. When it comes to opportunities, the, the more you chase stuff, the more you will come across as someone who is a bit desperate, you know, when it comes to changing, um, let's say, you know, where you work, how you work, what comes in and stuff, have a bit of faith. The other thing that I need you to need to say to you here is because you have Saturn, which is one of three spiritual teachers, it has the number 24 um, by default. It's just a depiction that is, that is sort of, uh, that they're show, sort of showing me here. Now, 24 is doesn't quite translate so well. The point is you have two and four, which is also the symbology for Jupiter. And Jupiter is two and a half times the mass of all the bloody planets together. So what the guides are saying is stand tall and be lighthearted. 
But with regards to opportunities, you know, do less, chase less, trust more. Really, really important because the outgoing energy is Capricorn and Capricorn knows that everything is a journey. But you have achievement right at the outgoing energy here, right? So you have Capricorn and the term achieve. Point is that when you are just going to trust, things will come to you easier and you will be looked after and you will achieve what it is you really want. You just can't and shouldn't really chase it uh, so open. So the point they're making here is there's some sort of energy here that I feel that is a bit like frustration, dare I say despair. All the guides are saying is you have been through everything, right? You have seen a lot and you're still here. What makes you think you're not here tomorrow? So don't give in to, oh, this needs to happen and this needs to happen because needs must and need is just not a great word to use when it comes to manifesting anything. The point the guides are making is be lighthearted, but stand tall, you know, know what you want. And, and so the way they show it to me is like, it's almost like you have to sell yourself or you feel you have to sell yourself. And the guides are saying is, no, you don't have to sell yourself at all. Right? You just have to say, like, okay, the, the person you're looking for, I think it's me. Right? Way more casual um, uh, instead of thinking, oh, my God, I really need that job. Because, again, needs create needs. And you don't need anything. It'll come to you when you go into trust. Okay? That's all I got for you. But I don't want you to go now because I have a special offer just for my viewers this month. You can back yourself. Um professional pictures um, from a great photographer and she gives you 10% off provided you are booking this month. Now uh, there is a 90 second segment that you can now watch before this video ends. Um, should you be interested in um, having new pictures taken, this is a 10% offer only for my viewers, only for the month of October. Right. So I hope you're watching it. And I see you hopefully next month. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and share. Bye-bye. Exclusively, just for the viewers of this channel, you can back yourself a 10% off deal provided you book your photo shoot session with Photography by Kate for the months or in the months of October 2023. There is no code or anything. Just tell her you saw it on Thomas Tower readings um, and then you get your 10% off. Anyway, let's have a look at, you know, you can obviously see uh, all the pictures um, that Kate took. Um, these pictures were all taken because I want to, um, you know, I thought I would like to have some new pictures and um, they obviously have to represent who I am. And so obviously I had them taken uh, at the chase. Amazing. And look at how awesome the pictures turned out. So especially for and only for the viewers of this channel, there's a special offer. 10% off provided you book with Kate and Photography by Kate in the month of October 2023 that is a special offer just for the viewers of this very channel anyway enjoy please make sure you get in touch the information uh, for photography by kate is in the description box below have fun guys